Hello everyone, welcome to Heart's Happiness Podcast. The place where I, Manpreet, share my journey of healing intergenerational family trauma to help you to understand your story. I share a bunch of tools and tips that will transform your mental health and allow you to find your own heart's happiness. So exciting, right? Each episode will cover one of three areas. One, raising awareness of what this trauma actually is and how it hides in our lives. Two, tools, tips, support, lots of different things that I've used to get better and heal from this trauma. And three, I'll be connecting you with so many specialists and therapists and coaches as guests on my show. So we are going to transform your mental health and empower you to take your healing by the hands and move forward. Hello, my loves. Welcome back. It feels really exciting today because I'm recording like back to back a couple of solo episodes and I realize I haven't done them for ages and I love doing them because I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to talk about and then um, just all this random stuff tends to come out so I'm not sure sometimes even where it's coming from but today I wanted to talk to you about trust, trust of yourself and also trust of the bigger picture having faith because I think that's something that we really lose when we have experienced trauma in our lives, like we can really start to feel like the world and life is against us. And when we experience trauma as well, we really lose that trust and that compassion for ourselves. So I wanted to delve deeper into that topic today because it fits in all around that intuition that we're talking about this month. And yeah, I don't really know where I'm gonna go with it, but let's see how it goes. I'm excited. In terms of announcements, as I've mentioned before, I always go deeper into the podcast theme, which is intuition this month, in our membership group, which is just $15.99 a month. A very small investment, but you can get going in some inner work. So I give you journaling prompts. We have um, a couple of calls a month. There's a Facebook group, and it's just the beginning of you digging deeper into yourself rather than the surface level life stuff that can we can get really carried away with and then we can really lose ourselves so the membership is a very safe place where we can check in with ourselves with our inner selves and see if um is it how it is everything what do i need to work on what do i need to work on growing and changing this is what i do on myself every month so it's like I'm trying to get the membership into these practices of like becoming conscious of how we're living our lives rather than just doing a load of stuff on autopilot and you know there's people there that haven't done my course have only listened to the podcast and because right now that's all that they feel they can invest in themselves so if you feel like that that's because you might not feel like you're worth investing more into and that's a real characteristic of childhood trauma to be honest like the first time that I ever spent money I remember it was like 300 pounds on my Reiki course uh I was full-on having a panic attack because I felt like it was stuff such an extravagance I was in loads of debt so I was literally just picking a credit card that had space on it and that was the scariest thing I've ever done so I can really understand if it's scary for you so doing something like this it's a really small investment can just be a little baby step on a path of healing because you don't have to do it on your own there is support available to you in lots of ways not just me and my services that is why I bring a lot of other people onto the podcast so you realize how much help there is out there for you and we can feel like oh my god money is such a constraint but don't forget there's so many free resources like this podcast I have a free masterclass on anxiety there's loads of other people putting their content on YouTube and there's so many resources available to you so don't allow something like money to stop your brain from thinking well there's no hope for me because there always is hope for you okay you are being supported and there is little things that you can do no matter what your situation is I promise you okay so today we're talking about trust what do I mean by that okay so I don't know about anybody else, but when you've experienced these bad things in your life, like childhood trauma, like an abusive marriage, abusive relationships, toxic relationships, a dysfunctional family, grief, loss, whatever it is that's happened on your journey that's made you feel like, oh my God, life is really unfair and it's really fair. Like you just make that belief in time 
And you could have made it as a three-year-old, a five-year-old, or as like a 26-year-old. I think I was always really optimistic about life, even though my life was kind of shocking. Like I had experienced by the time I was like 10, about four people that I loved dying on me. So I don't know how I managed to be so optimistic. And I was living in a house where there was like abuse and stuff, but I was pretty optimistic. But I think when I lost my dad, to suicide and just losing somebody that close to me like my dad and him not being part of my life anymore I started to see everywhere almost like become hyper vigilant of all the things that could go wrong in life and all the bad things that could happen so how all the people I loved how they could all die you know how somebody could get sick how somebody um could lose all their money like you become making this narrative like these beliefs around what you've seen about what's possible and you start to not trust life and you feel that you're not being supported and you're not being taken care of because of all this bad stuff has happened and then you start to look through life through that lens and when you start to look through life through that lens things get really dark and icky to be honest and you might be listening to this right now and be going that's how I'm looking at life right now and I really have so much love and compassion for you because I remember so deeply how that felt when you are looking through the lens of life is not working out for me life is not safe life is not good I'm not lucky this is crap you know I really remember that and how I was seeing all of my life experiences through that lens once I had made that decision that oh my god life is not safe and life is not good because of what happened to us and you know, that is such an normal part of grief and um, healing as well, that we go into that dark place that things are not great. But what I don't want for you guys is that you get stuck in there for like decades like I did. And then that is a, like an energy that consumes you. And then your life really starts to follow that path. Like it's almost like it just starts to really happen to you because you're in that kind of energy of life is not great, life is not working out. So you're not trying, like for me personally, I wasn't trying to be in a healthy relationship and have a family because I didn't believe life could work out. I didn't believe that if I had a baby that they'd be able to survive and everything would be okay. All I could see was all the bad that would happen if I had a baby or if I had, if I got married or if if all these things were working out for me, like all the pain that could come. That's all I could see. That's what my lens was like. And this is really the result of pain and trauma and not healing. Because for so long, I avoided healing. I avoided doing anything about this. And it made the life dark and miserable. I was frozen in fear. I was numbing out with alcohol and various other things to try to not feel my emotions. And I was not moving forward. And you may be like, that's where I am right now. So I'm sending you a big hug from here because that is not nice. But it's possible to change that lens of how you look through life and start to believe that actually you are being looked after and to trust the bigger picture and to trust the process of life. And unfortunately, us humans we have the good and the amazing things that happen and we have the bad as well which is we cannot stop people that we love dying for example that is going to happen to all of us we're all going to experience that at some point in our lives and it's like I wish we could all stay here forever and so nobody would have to feel pain but pain is such a portal for growth and for your evolution as a person because when you have allowed yourself to heal and allowed those wounds to heal and allow that growth to happen inside of you it will change the way you look at life so I was stopping myself for such a long time to heal and to move forwards and all of that kind of stuff because I was in a lot of pain but when I allowed myself to heal it meant that I was able to share stories and to help people through those stories like you right now that that pain that I went through and that discomfort and that horribleness that that was so painful for me has helped me to help other people that has helped me to connect on a deeper level it has also helped me to live life in a different way since I've like healed from it not when I was in it and I was looking at like I can't trust life that was a different energy but when I was like you know what I'm I'm healing from this and I'm going to have an incredible life because my dad 
died because his trauma killed him, basically. He allowed that negative energy of life isn't working out for me, life is not good, I can't be happy, I can't be free. He allowed that to take over and take over his life. Whereas I have made it my absolute mission to heal from those wounds and then decide that actually I'm not just going to have an okay life. I'm going to have a blooming incredible one. I'm going to live in a house that just brings me great joy and makes me so happy. I'm going to find a partner that that makes me feel safe and makes me feel good. I'm going to do a job that I love every single day because doing a job that I did not like for seven hours was just like, what am I doing? What a waste of my life doing a job that I didn't like. And that might sound like a real privilege that I could say that and do that. But I had to take some risks to do that and to follow those paths. And that was because of healing and to have trust that I deserve to have a wonderful life. So it was really about taking those negative glasses off that life isn't working out for me and putting new ones on, which was that life is always working out for me, that I can always trust it, even when it's not so even when it's difficult even when it's painful even when it doesn't work out it's still working out for me so like my new belief system and how I don't let it suck me down that negative energy train is like I trust that there's a bigger picture in play and I shared this recently on a podcast but yeah there was a lot of stress around buying my house and it was not one of the best moments of my life that was a really difficult chapter and I hated it, to be honest, and it really felt like life was unsafe. I remember one of my relatives saying, well, nothing works out for you easy. So this is where I've got some of those beliefs from, you know, that things aren't working out for me. Somebody actually has said that to me a number of times. And um, but the way I look through my new glasses is that, yeah, that was a, that was a struggle. That was difficult. But it taught me all these new skills that have helped me. And actually now when I have more stressful situations, I'm better equipped to deal with them because of that experience and what I went through. You know, even my experience with losing my dad, which was awful, um, you know, like grieving and being able to go through that experience has helped me to understand people I love more that have experienced grief or has helped me to understand my clients more that have experienced grief. So I try to see that there is always something bigger being played there and this may sound like woo woo and it might be a bit too spiritual for some of you you'll have to let me know but I'm really starting to believe in that bigger picture so I believe our life's challenges our traumas our pain that the reason that we are experiencing them which is so horrible is for our soul our spiritual self to evolve and that when we evolve past those traumas and those pains it can help us find our true selves and like what we're here to do. Like that's certainly what the trauma that I've experienced has brought me, you know, that kind of sense of purpose, which so many of us need in life to be able to get up every single day to have that sense of person, that reason that we're here. And we make it about things like our families or children and stuff, which is amazing, but we have got this thing within us. And if we do evolve through our challenges our hardships then we get to fulfill that potential that purpose within us so that is the lens in which I look through life now which makes me look through life with trust and that whatever is happening is happening for the highest good of me and for others so yeah it's not fun when you're buying a house and one of them falls through and then your flat falls through and all the very human dramatic things that happened but the bigger picture was how it gave me these amazing skills and the bigger picture was how it allows me to help people in a different way so that's what how I choose to look at life and have that trust that things are always working out for me so you can kind of put that belief on everything things are always working out for me oh my gosh there's an economic crisis there is there's so much terrible things going on in the world how is life always working out for me how can we trust that you know there's a bigger picture and we're being looked after if there's a war in Ukraine like how can we do that I mean this does struggle with my belief a little bit but the reason why wars are happening 
the reason why all these awful things are happening in our world is because so many people are running countries and doing things from a place of their own wounding and their own hurt. So, you know, whatever his name is in, uh, like, Russia that's decided to do this war, you know, that is not a healthy man that decided to make that decision. That is somebody with his own issues that is deciding to make these kind of decisions that will that will impact so many people and cause trauma to a whole generation of people because of that decision that this traumatised man is making. So if we all can trust that by, do- by doing our inner work and our inner healing, that it wakes us up to who we truly are and what we're here for, then we can all start to be making a massive difference. But unfortunately, there's so many people on this planet that are not awake to their own healing and their own growth and their true potential that we have got really dodgy people running countries. Like, I always joke with Simon that if we have a family that, you know, I'd really love my child to be prime minister or something and be, like, do a better job because that is like how wonderful would that be if somebody really healthy was in that position and was like oh you know what we care about people and we care about their mental health we care about our children's emotional well-being let's teach children how to emotionally regulate in our schools let's teach people what toxic relationships are and what we can do about we don't learn anything about that right and that's the potential that we all have if we fulfill our own purposes like that bigger picture So yeah, all these bad things are happening, yeah, and they're crap, and that is causing more pain and more suffering, and it will continue to, unless more and more of us start to wake up. And the reason why we wake up is because we are put under so much pressure that we have no choice. Trust me, I had a lot of resistance to doing this inner work and healing. I spent decades avoiding it. I spent so many years pretending I was okay, filling up every minute of my time, taking care of everybody else, drinking anything I could find myself. You know, I I spent a lot of time avoiding my emotions, avoiding the transformation, avoiding the change. And you know what happened? It got worse and worse and worse and worse until I surrendered to it and was like, I need to sort this out, and I need to heal, I need to figure out what's going on inside of me, and change, and all of that helped me to wake up to who I truly am, so when we are starting to look through that lens of trust, it's like even the bad things, they cause us to wake up, they cause us to wake up to who we truly are, so the wars and the traumas do that, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't experience war, but I experienced my family's war. The traumas they did experience generations before them is what I was experiencing in my childhood through my parents, right? Like my my grandparents would have seen awful things and been like really had to go into survival mode, but I was, it was affecting me as an adult, right? And that's what's happening with you guys as well, that you've experienced these awful things that have made you feel deep pain. But the longer that you don't trust that that is happening for a reason to help you to heal your inside so you can wake up and be the person you're truly meant to be. That's the bigger picture. That's the bigger reason of why I believe that bad things happen to us. And you can take or leave that. I and I know if you're at a point in your journey where you're like, you know what, I didn't deserve to have this awful abuse by my parents. Like nobody else I know had that. So why am I so special that I had that abuse? And that is absolutely true. It's not fair and it's not right at all. You deserve so much better. But if you work on healing those wounds and what happened, that you will be able to move forward in life in a completely different way. Because when we're living life through a wounded place, then life isn't feeling good and it doesn't feel happy and it doesn't feel like we can trust it and then we start to affect other people like our children like our partners like the other relationships we have and it's like a disease that just spreads so when we start to step up to that challenge of you know what actually 
this has happened to me, but I'm going to like heal from it. I'm not going to let it hold me back. I'm going to trust the process of doing that so that I can become who I am, who I was meant to be. That little baby that you came into this planet as, that is who you're supposed to be. And the trauma is, was your experience, was what your soul came here to apparently evolve from. So um, like I speak to spiritual people sometimes and they say, you know, that I was meant to come and to this planet and talk about the things I talk about. But the thing is, I couldn't have spoken about them if I hadn't been through them, right? I couldn't relate to people. I couldn't connect to people in this way. Like I'm very honest and open and generous with my story, which is, I guess, kind of unique because I really feel that it's important that you hear real stories because it will help you to connect to your own stories. And if I'm brave with sharing mine, then maybe you'll be brave to share yours with a professional to get the help that you need. And that's all come because of my own journey and all the bad stuff that happened to me. And I'm telling you now that I've done so much work on it, that doesn't feel so bad anymore. It really doesn't. I feel okay. I feel more at peace than I've ever done in my whole life. And yeah, it comes up because I'm not fully healed. None of us are. But I trust that when it comes up, it's for a reason and it's to help me to heal and to further evolve. So I often say to my clients, like, what if whatever you wish for, that you just knew it was going to work out or that it was going to work out for the highest good, that you'd have that belief that everything is working out the way it's meant to. And it's like, well, no, because life's not safe and it hasn't been working out the way it's meant to. And it's not like that. But it all comes to those lenses again, right? So if my client's telling me their story and they're like, well, I'm really trying to get a job and I haven't been getting a job. Like everything's not working out. I can't trust it. I'm doing all this stuff that you're telling me to do and it's not working. I'm not getting that job. It's not happening. So we can't trust life. We can't trust the world. We can't trust the universe because, you know, bad stuff happens. I'm not getting what I want. I'm not getting the job. And I always say, you know, that of course their feelings are valid. So feeling frustrated, upset, angry, not good enough is all valid, of course, What's the bigger picture? Maybe you're not meant to get that job that you're applying for. Maybe you're looking in the wrong place. Maybe you're meant to do something else. Maybe you're not listening to your own inner guidance. Maybe you need to do a little bit more healing to uncover what you really want to do as a job. You know, and the same thing goes for like relationships. Like maybe there's some blocks there that's stopping you from being with someone because it doesn't feel safe yet. So maybe there's a misalignment and you need, there's a little bit of work that we need to do there to help you, like yourself or, you know, with somebody. And that when you shift and move through that, that you'll see the bigger picture. Like it was not easy for me to get into a relationship. And yes, I did tell myself there was something wrong with me. The world wasn't fair. You know, I didn't have good fate or as we say, in Indian say bad kismet. I believed all those things. But actually, what I realized through my journey is that there was a lot of inner work that I had to do to unblock my own resistance towards healthy love. And when I figured out all those lessons, the healthy love appeared. So was work life not working out for me? Or was it working out for me? Because when I had those wounds, I could have fallen into a really toxic, unhealthy relationship. But I actually got saved a number of times because I did have shocking days in men. But like they didn't want to be with me. So, you know, again, was life work? Wasn't it working out for me? Or was it working out for me? And you can apply that to your own story. You know, like whatever the bad stuff, not like, don't get me wrong, the trauma is bad. And that shouldn't happen to anyone. And you don't deserve that. And like I said, I chalk that up to soul development, but it's not, it's not cool. But it is an evolution of your soul and why you're here for that bigger purpose, for that bigger soul purpose of why you came to this planet at this time to help humanity right now. And that's very big and that's very woo-woo. But it's true, I really believe that if we all individually, every single one of us was doing what we were meant to be doing, what we came here to do, if we figured that out, that we could really change the world. 
Like we could really transform things. But in order to do that, we need to go through the lessons and the challenges so that we can grow and evolve. So trusting that whatever's happening for you right now is trying to push you towards growing and evolving. Even things like the economic crisis, because that's putting pressure on your job. It's making you go, is this job right for me? Because like, I'm not happy and they're not, put, they're not giving me more money. I'm going to have to go look somewhere else. That is happening for a reason, right? Because it could be pushing you towards whatever it is that you're meant to do or whatever growth and healing you're meant to do so that your soul can evolve and do what it came here to do. I believe, and lots of other spiritual teachers talk about, like Eckhart Tolle in his books. Like maybe things are working out. Like you found this podcast and how has that helped you and how has that changed you? How has that helped you to feel heard or understood or safer or, you know, it's helped you to change? Like do you, that's, that's not an accident, right? That's all this bigger picture that I had to do that, all that evolving and that healing and that awful trauma to be able to be able to put this out into the world so that you would listen to it and it would help you to heal and grow into whoever you're meant to be that is no accident and sometimes we just really just need to surrender into it into the lessons into the growth into the evolving like we just need to give into that and follow our inner guidance our inner intuition that will tell us what our next step is and whether that's therapy or coaching or reading a book or changing our job or whatever that little step is for us, you know, if we accept that sort of challenge and it's what we're here for and we can start to trust in that bigger picture and change our belief system so we're not wearing those old glasses of life isn't working out and it's terrible to, oh my God, there's a bigger picture at play here. How exciting. And if you can't, see that bigger picture in your life because you're seeing it from this smaller lens then it's just about stepping back and seeing the whole picture and that's why working with somebody can really help you because they can allow you to see things in your picture that you can't see because you can be so focused on your problem and so focused on the issue that you can't see the bigger picture that is part of the reason why in my eight-week course I take people through a lesson which is let's look at the bigger picture of what you were born into so that you can see that actually you are good enough and there isn't something wrong with you and what actually was at play in your childhood when you were born. Let's see that and when you see that you're like oh my god my parents had trauma too they were just really messed up. They didn't mean to do those things so how can I even be angry with them because they didn't even mean to do it and you start to see life through this whole lens And you start to take responsibility and accountability for your own happiness, your own healing, your own growth for your time here. So it is great and it does feel like it's working out for you. And if it doesn't feel like it's working out for you, then that is just a little sign, a little prompt that there is some inner healing and inner work to do. And you are exactly the right place because I'm all about helping you to do that so that you can heal and be the person that you were truly meant to be and to be happy and to be rich if that's what you want, to have the greatest love if that's what you want. I believe so much that that is possible for you if you say yes to the challenges that your soul has asked you to do. So you start to heal and go through these things rather than ignore and numb, but actually be like, you know what? I know that I'm not good and I'm not happy and I need to change that. I need to take responsibility for that. I'm ready to have an absolutely amazing, fabulous life despite what childhood I had. You know, I'm ready to do that. I'm ready to sign up for that. And I am ready, as in me, to help you with that. That's what my courses are made for. That's what this podcast is here for. And I have got so many bigger ideas to help you in lots of different ways. But also I'm not alone in my mission. There's loads of people that have been waking up, been doing their own inner work and they have uncovered what they're here to help you with. And they come on my podcast or you might see them on social media and see them in different places because there's so many people now that are waking up to what that is. And how exciting is that? Because that just shows that this bigger picture is at play, that you are not alone and that you um, get to change and have the life that you truly want. 
but it does require you to be brave to have courage to step into that challenge of growth and I know that can feel scary when you have grown up with trauma and it doesn't feel safe to do that but the benefits that you get on the other side of that oh my god it's mind-blowing sometimes I sit in my front room uh, which is so lovely because you can see out the front and back window like you can see the greenery everywhere and I'm just like I can't believe that this is my life compared to five six years ago and where I was at and where I was at mentally that I'm if if that person that I could go back in time and say be brave put that blooming therapy on your credit card go do that thing because it will change your life and I sit in that front room having my hot water and I'm just like I can't actually believe it it blows my mind and it blows my mind so much because I know where I was I still have the journals that talk about it of how I was in that negative headspace I thought life was against me I didn't think it was possible I haven't seen it in my family this is some big pipe dream but actually I've realized and I've seen the results that happen when you heal and I'm seeing that with my clients as well and it is so incredible that the that inner work how you know that basically changes how you feel on the inside and your energy and you're feeling much more better and you're positive and life feels a lot easier and better and then you start to see it on the outside in your relationships in your dreams like you start to see it all grow and it's so exciting which is why I quit my job to do this because I love helping people to change their lives like that so that they are no longer whatever that bad thing happened to them and they are creating and building the most fabulous life for themselves because that is what's possible for you and how exciting is that that we don't have to be victims to our trauma that we can heal and let that story go and start to step into the belief that life is working out for me always and I got this right so I didn't know what I was going to say when I started this podcast. I knew I was going to talk about trust, but it went into a whole different direction. Um, I hope that it's inspired you to do your healing work, to carry on rolling with the punches and being on that growth journey, that you're exactly where you're meant to be. You're not behind. It was all meant to be like this. If you've had failed marriages, if you are, you know, have been single for thousands of years, Whatever your story is, it was meant to be like this because your soul was meant to be on this journey and to evolve and learn these lessons in the exact way. So you are not failing in any capacity. You are right on time. But listen to your inner calling, your inner intuition that is telling you what your next step is in your growth, in your healing, so that you can be the person you came here to be. And I believe when you are stepping into that person you came here to be, that is where true, true happiness lies and abundance and peace. And yes, of course, there's still going to be life things that happen like economy and, you know, people that we love dying. That's still going to happen. But you are going to have the tools and the processes to be able to move through these things so it doesn't get you stuck in pain. And you can do that. So take off those old glasses that are telling you life is not working out and physically imagine yourself putting on a new pair of glasses that's like, I'm going to trust that life is working out for me. And how do I see the world now? What decisions am I going to make? What actions am I going to take? Because I'm looking through a different lens. And I would love to know what you do as a result of that, listening to your guidance. You can email me at manpriya at heartshappiness.co.uk with your stories. I would love to hear about them. But that is it from me today. And if you need help with this, you know, whether that's one-to-one, you can book a free 30-minute consultation or you want to do my group course that talks you through how you basically you wake up and how you sort of take back your power and how you start to do your healing work, then drop me an email, reach out to me, speak to me on Instagram, whatever it is that you need. And let's get you on that path of healing because you deserve it. You deserve to change that lens and step into life is good and life is working out for me sending you so much love I'm so proud of all the work that you do on yourself I'm so proud of you taking time out to listen to me waffle on um 
and I'm so proud of you and you can do this. I really believe in you. So I'm sending you so much love and light and I hope you have a wonderful day. And there we have it guys, an episode completed. I hope you enjoyed it and it raised a load of awareness in your mind. There was alarm bells going. You were all like, ding, that's totally me. Cause that's what I was like when I started this journey. And that is the start of the process, finding out this information and realizing it has happened in your own life. So I really hope it was helpful. And before the next episode coming out next Wednesday, be sure to check us out on Instagram. So it's hearts underscore underscore happiness. Also, we have a YouTube channel where I share the videos I create for Instagram on. So you can check that out. They come on about once a week. And then we also have a Facebook group if you want to join to carry on the conversation. I want to create a community where we're all talking about our very real experiences and traumas. And then there is also my website called heartshappiness.co.uk, which you can check out to join our mailing list so that as I create new services and support tools for you all, you're the first to find out. And I have a freebie on there, so definitely check that out. It's five books that transformed my healing. So if you really want to kickstart and you know you're liking the content in here, these books are like the basis of so much of my knowledge. So definitely check that out. And I will speak to you next week. I'm so excited to continue this journey with you to help you to find your own heart's happiness. Take care.